Good morning, Barrett. Today is April 1st, 2022. I'm sure that we get exhausted after school and want to eat something to get our energy up. Here we have Jaden giving instructions on how to make a simple and tasty snack. Let's make a chocolate lava mug cake. First, one fourth cups of sugar, then one fourth cup of flour, and then two tablespoons of cocoa powder. Now half a teaspoon of baking powder. Now whisk with a fork until completely mixed. Now add one egg. Now add three tablespoons of melted butter. Now add three tablespoons of milk. Now half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now whisk again with a fork. Now put two tablespoons of chocolate chips inside and push it underneath. Now add any extras to the center that you would like, such as nuts or white chocolate chips. And put it on for one minute. There it is. Our final product. Did you know my name and name is Rose? No, actually. We'll let Axel and Basil tell you all about roses with their special episode coming right up. Hello and welcome to Axel and Basil's Plants of the Week. Special edition. Wait, a special episode? Yeah, you can tell by the fancy background in the beginning. Today's episode is on roses. As you might know, roses are the popular symbol of romance. But we're here to tell you some facts that you might not know. So let's get into it. In the language of flowers, different roses mean different things. Red roses depict love, white roses show innocence and purity, pink roses show gratitude, purple roses, although being rare, depict adoration, yellow roses show friendship, and so on and so forth. By the way, Axel, have you ever seen the Rose Parade? Nope. Well, did you know that their floats are completely covered in real roses or other natural resources? Like, they aren't artificial. Whoa, that's so cool! That's also a great way to end our segment. Right, we hope to see you guys next week. Bye bye. If you just step out onto the blacktop, you'll find tons and tons of trash left by students. Aubrey and Audrey can tell you more about it. Honestly, my opinion on the trash is just like, it's really disrespectful and like people can't just throw their trash away. Like literally there's, I think about 20 trash cans around the school and somebody can't just walk over it and put it in the trash. Like honestly, you guys really needed to step it up because the custodian isn't your personal maid. I feel like the trash in our school is just getting really out of hand and it's pretty stupid and pointless that people just leave their trash all over the floor when it's only, the trash can's only a few steps away. Bro, watch. I can make this shot. No, you can't. Yeah, I can. No, you can't. Watch, watch, watch. See, what did I say? <laughs> whatever, whatever. Oh, sometimes I can't believe people are like this. Watch. I'm going to make this no. shot this time. No, you're not. Yeah, I am. No, you're not. Watch. You <laughs> suck. Minute, you know... You know Guys, you have to really stop littering. It's not good for the environment. Man, whatever, bro. Whatever, man. Come on, let's go, bro. <laughs> oh, Mr. Darrow. I saw the whole thing. Pick that up right now before you get a launch detention. Oh, whatever. whatever. <laughs> Bullying is a big problem in schools worldwide, so Taylor, Jalen, and Jaslyn have a bullying PSA for us. Guys, make sure you go to the hallway. All right. Mr. Darrow, oh, yeah, yeah, I need yeah, what's to up? talk to you. Hello, my name is Daniel. Welcome to BTV. And today we're going to be demonstrating hallway safety. We're going to be talking about it. So number one, we do not run in the halls because if you run in the halls and you trip and fall, the damage you'd have to sustain would be greater than when you're walking and end up tripping. And second, we do not throw things in the halls, objects, trash, etc. Because I don't throw all these in the halls, and neither should you. We're going to have these three people 
demonstrate hallway safety. Behind, no sprinting, no pushing! That is hallway safety. Have a great day. Finally, last but definitely not least, here are student jokes. Do you want to hear a joke about a piece of paper? Sure. <laughs> Never mind. It's terrible. What did the shark say when he ate the clownfish? What? This tastes a little funny. Why do we tell actors to break a leg? Why? Because every play has a cast. Just a reminder that hot chocolate ends next week, so grab some while you can. Thanks for watching, and I hope you all have a great rest of your day.